So I just hot air removed a 24C16E prom from this lo location right here, a little eight legger. Um, AR32 wasn't picking up on the bin file while it was clipped in circuit, so I removed it and put it in my VVDI clamshell. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up Tango. I'm gonna make a video on the whole process of this uh, later down the line. This is the device info. Yes, I did already read it. Tons of information. We're gonna verify. And this appears to be the VIN. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, perhaps not. There it is. That could be the VIN code. Seeing if the pen number is displayed anywhere. I don't see it. That's kind of lame. Um, so I verified. I'm going to save. Uh, this is a 2014 Malibu. Alright. Now I'm going to pull Tango up. I was about to say Tango's taking forever. And drop Prog down. We need USA. Car model. Chevy. Now we have to find one with the proper device. And a cruise should be it. Mm -mm -mm. E prom location. There it is. So it shows that two keys were programmed into that BCM. How cool. Here we have access to it. And it has the uh, transponder type down here. Now with uh, these particular um, um, keys, they are uh, B119. And I believe it's, uh, it's transponder fill ID46E, which is like extended is what it means, I think. Extended for the E. Because it holds more bytes of data, but I'm unsure because right here it shows just a regular <clears throat> fill 46. I kind of redid my chip tray. I'm going to grab a blank, see what it does, pop it in there, and we're going to write over. No, let's add. Let's add. Uh, it immediately wanted me to save, so 2014, we'll do what I always do on my practice, and just mark the, uh, the, uh, the modified bin, you know, number two, save, see, Tango has created the new file, wants you to reload it, let's go ahead and discover our key, yep, this transponder in there, registers as key three. So, look up our info. There's our pin code, 3764. That's cool. And there's no transponder currently in Tango. Explore key. It says transponder not found. Take the one that we programmed. Key three.
pretty cool. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and minimize, bring back up prog, and our device is still in there. I wish I would have found the, uh, ah, there it is right there. God damn it. There's our pin code. That is it, right? 3764. Ah, it was right there. I went right by it. Ah, oh, you bastard. 3764. There's our pin code in the original pin. So, um, I'm going to open and do 2014 Malibu 2. Open that. And we're going to go to uh, right. And yes, we're going to continue. So, right now it's rewriting the. Uh, EEPROM with the new bin file that the uh, third key is added into. And we're going to verify that the device matches the bin file on screen. And it does. And so there we're done. Boop. It's already saved. So is the original. And um, close that. And uh, see, look, check this out. Um, we'll go ahead and load the revised one see it shows key 3 and it doesn't show an extended transponder that's odd so odd I'm worried about that honestly but uh, I guess the E uh, transponder is for the remote uh, head the flip key so perhaps that's just like the B119 how it would register in the e-mobilizer but if we wanted to we could add a fourth key and uh, let's go ahead and rediscover see what it says boop key 3 still loaded in there Pretty fucking cool. And so all we have to do now is just take um, our target device out and just got to take it back over and I would clean up the old residual solder. If you can see it, it's kind of uh, bunched up. Clean this up if I had to. And uh, re-solder it back on. You know? And then um, put it back at its housing, which would be this. And I'd be done. So I have in Tango right now and unlocked used flip key it's a four button um, it's used watch I'm gonna hit discover key this is unlocked alright now that uh, Chevy Cruze I just had in, uh, in my prog we programmed in a blank Phillips 46, so I wanted to program in a uh, flip key to see if it added that extra E at the end of it, of uh, the transponder, transponder ID number. So, open. Because you see that blank was a little shy of this identification, so I'm going to try and write this in. And we're going to do 2014 all the way down over 3. Save. Okay. And so now let's load 2014 version 3. There it is. Key number 4. It shows it with the uh, remote and the extended. So, well, we still have it in Tango. Let's go ahead and discover key four. Pretty cool. And, um, do, 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 do. I think this is it right here. We can always find out. Take that out, put that in, hit discover. 
yep, that's our key three. And so say a customer sent us, uh, you know, enough money to cover the cost of two keys, booyah. There they are. And of course, um, you'd have to reload this bin file back into the uh, EEPROM in order for the, uh, the flip key to work. Um, since I'm bored as fuck, here's a Buick key. I believe it's unlocked. Boop. We'll find out. And we can override, overwrite key one. There it is. And then, uh, 2014. Version four. Save. Okay. And then we, let's go ahead and load it. It should have, uh, you know, it, and it'll actually look the same. Okay, and so now we have this one right here. We'll look at it. That's the Buick key. That's key one. And we'll take it out. And we will put in that one. It's got a GMC logo. And um, we will discover key. That's key four. I'll set that right there. Take this little transponder, put him in, and then we'll discover what he is. There's key three. And so you can send these back with this. And as soon as they're reinstalled, and uh, if they have the, the proper keyblade on them, they'll all start the car. There it goes. Hmm. Let's see if it worked. Oh, fall, don't fall. Still recognized. How oh, interesting. Although it's reading is unlocked. Okay, this is odd. So I'm gonna take this out. There. This is one. Oops, the other one that I programmed. Here's the transponder, it just fell off. Let's identify it. Show unlocked. Now the uh the remote I haven't tried to unlock. Locked. Interesting. Okay. So, theory is this is unlocked, but it's still programmed to the emo. So, see, look, watch. Oh, yeah, this fucking button. Ah, come on. You fucking button. Anyway, so, boop, all right, it's unlocked, so it can be programmed into another bin, or piggybacked into another car, and uh, the one that I haven't unlocked, Still shows locked. Set it there. Prom crazy. Get my method down so I can become hella good. The best. Oop.
Verde, Amarillo, try to get those points in, um, let's see if this goes, there it goes, progress bar, Shazam, okay, now, this, this, according to my thesis, or theory, god damn, can't talk, should still be recognized in the bin of Tango, but uh, we will put it in and check its status because it was the last one to be read, and it's show unlocked, so let's check it now. Now it's unlocked, and we will open up uh, right here. identify see still identifies so it's held the information but it is open to learning new information um, and kicking out the old information so it's unlocked technically but it still is recognized by the emo and uh, the Buick one as well is the same so I'll go ahead and drop it in tango and see what it recognizes as key one and so then we will go back and identify what's in tango and it shows it's unlocked just like it's buddy pretty neat